Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today we're going to talk, this is, a, this is part of a series on the cheetah totem. And for those of you that haven't seen already, so we're using the cheetah, its totem, as a theme to explain how we can go about certain things in our lives. And if you haven't if you haven't seen my earlier videos on on the whole explanation, go ahead and click back through and then come back when you can. But this one is about <clears throat> momentum, okay? How to build momentum. Because in order for a cheetah to build the momentum and the speed that it needs to get to its prey and take it down, it needs a lot of momentum. But even though the cheetah is one of the fastest animals on the planet, it cannot immediately take one step and then be going 60 miles per hour, right? It takes a little bit of buildup. And what that is, is very succinct steps, right? That are small and very simple when you take them one by one. But as you build upon them, and you keep going, then you start to build momentum. And that's where taking action is so huge, right? Every little action you take in the right direction builds momentum. So imagine you're watching the video of this cheetah going after its prey, and it's finally decided to attack, right? So once it attacks and it starts going after its prey, it has to take the most direct route and build as much momentum as it can in that direction. If its prey turns and it has to turn, then it loses some of its momentum because now it's changed its direction. So are you guys following me where, where this metaphor is going in terms of how we deal with situations in life, with our business, with our relationships, right? With, with the way we handle our bodies? When, when you're going after something, you don't have to take one big step to get you from zero to 60. It's actually a culmination of several small, tiny steps that are going in the same direction that will eventually push you through, sort of like a wave, right? It's built so much momentum in a direction until finally it comes crashing down upon the shore. Until finally the cheetah comes crashing down on its prey. Right, it's the same. It's the same kind of concept. So, um, so what is it? Th this is the question I have for you. What is it that you're doing? What is it that your direction is right now? What what big goal? And not I'm not talking about some little goal. I'm talking about a big goal, right? What goal are you looking for that um, that you could take action on today, right now? As soon as you turn off this video, or maybe like turn me off now. If you know what it is, turn me off now and go out there and do it. It could be as simple as writing something down. It could be as simple as making a video. It could be as simple as having a conversation or making a phone call. But whatever that one action is, don't end today. Don't go to sleep. Don't wait another minute to get that done because that one little action, is going to, to, to be the first step in your direction of whatever goal it is that you're trying to attack. And the next day, you make another action, and the next day another. And before you know it, you're going to look back on the month, and you're going to have 30 actions that have propelled you in one direction and have started to build momentum. So, um... Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that that you know that that resonates with you guys, and um, and so if there is an action that you plan on taking, please drop it down in the comment section below, and um, and if you have any questions about how to take action, feel free to you know um, hit me up. You know, ask in the in the comment section below, and I'll I'll try as best as I can to answer whatever questions. So until the next video, where I believe we're going to talk about focus. Take it easy.